Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring and diamond painting videos here on this channel. And today I'm going to be doing a fun little whip and chat video where I will just be diamond painting this beautiful little section here. Um, and if you guys are wondering what piece I am doing, I am working on Luna Moth Witch. This is from Diamond Art Club. Um, it's by Rita Kanya, and this is the original artwork. I actually have a full unboxing video of this diamond painting on my channel if you're interested. It is a really gorgeous piece and I'm not usually one to really like bugs at all in the slightest but the colors on this the blues the mint green so up my alley that I knew I needed to have this piece and yeah so today we are just gonna be working on this section right here and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right on into it okay so I'm gonna start out I have this thing where I always start out with the black um, and fun fact that I'm gonna tell you guys now is that this is currently the state of my pen it only has the single placer in it I took the multi placer out I have literally just been single placing this entire piece you guys and it has been a dream because I found probably my ride or die ad uh, adhesive might not be the right word. I'm gonna use the word wax, but it's not wax because I am using micro glue dots. And actually here's the box. I am using micro glue dots in my single placer. You can put them in multi placers, um, but I have not tried that method. And honestly, this has been so relaxing for me. And you guys just listen. Do you guys hear that pop? It is amazing. It's super good. Also, I feel like maybe I'll move this down a little bit more. There we go. Maybe zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and diamond paint. We're just going to chat. And yeah, I have been using glue dots in my single placer and I've just been single placing this entire piece up until this point. And it's been such a dream to work on. Honestly, like, I used to really not like single placing just because, I don't know, I never could find a good wax. I, I've tried a couple. I've tried the pink wax. I've tried other wax, and nothing worked for me personally that well. Um, I felt like I always found something went wrong with each of the things I've tried, like everything I've tried. So I decided, and shout out to my friend Ash, Simply Ash here on YouTube, she texted me one day and she was like, hey, you should try glue dots in your single placer because I got some and they work really nicely. And I'm like, bet. So <laughs> literally went on Amazon, bought the micro glue dots, and here we are. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on how I get my micro glue dots to like fit in the pen tip and everything. It's actually quite simple, but I know that I needed a little bit of help before I um, was able to do it. So let me know if you guys want a video like that. Um, I just find glue dots to be amazing and they also last forever. This is the... Uh, so I did one full row of the diamond painting and now we're about halfway through this next row and I haven't switched out this glue dot. Um, there are three, I think I put three in the tip this time. I don't think I did four. I think I did three in the tip and they've lasted me this long and I'm kind of wondering how long they're going to last and yeah, I haven't run across any issues yet. So I'm hoping it just lasts me a while. Um... But yeah, I'm like really enjoying these glue dots. And let me know in the comments if you guys use the glue dots, what you guys use in your diamond paintings. Definitely let me know. But I actually have some really exciting news I wanted to talk about in this video. Um, I know I probably, I think I'm titling the video name kind of insinuating what I'm gonna talk about. But um, I recently, and I've been an affiliate with Diamond Art Club for a while, but I haven't shared it um, because what I really wanted was a discount code for you guys to use. And so I reached out to Diamond Art Club and I have a discount code if you guys are purchasing for the first time from Diamond Art Club and um, you want some money off your order, you can use the discount code Michaela 10 for $10 off your very first Diamond Art Club order. Um, I will leave it linked down below as well as a link to the Diamond Art Club website, which is an affiliate link. Um, so I do make a small commission if you use the link to purchase. Um, 
And I believe I get a small commission if you use the discount code, but I'm actually not sure about that. Um, and then I also have an affiliate link for Dreamer Designs. And if you guys don't know, I love both Diamond Art Club and Dreamer Designs equally. I think they're both amazing. Um, so that discount code is Michaela Renee 15, where you can get 15% off your first order at Dreamer Designs. But that will be in my description box from here on out in my on all my videos. Um, so let me know if you guys are planning on ordering from either of those websites. Um, I've done both uh, Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club pieces. And yeah, I can really vouch for the fact that they both are great companies and I love um, their pieces, both of them, from both companies. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of what I really wanted to talk about um, was that I have a discount code for you guys. And yeah, I've been wanting to um, get you guys a discount code because I know I've been talking a lot more about diamond painting on this channel more recently. But yeah, anyways, aside from that, I hope everyone's been doing well. Um, I, you guys, was everyone else just having such a weird week last week? Or was it just me? Because I swear, something was going on with the universe, I swear. Because last week was just one big mental, I'm gonna call it a shit show, one big mental shit show. Um, and like, I genuinely, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it, to be honest. But like, everything just like, in my head was just like going so wrong um and just like I don't know was I don't believe too much in like I don't know what what even is it like mercury is in retrograde or whatever whatever the heck it is I don't really believe any of that clearly because I don't even know like <laughs> how to explain it but like is that like a thing right now is everyone feeling this way I'm feeling a lot better since the weekend but like is it just because it's the weekend or, you know? And also I had off Monday from work because it was Labor Day here in the United States. And um, man, my four day week turned into like feeling like it was like a 10 day week. It was just so weird. I don't know, for some reason, sometimes short weeks can do that. They can just like make you feel like it's even longer of a week, which is unfortunate because I actually took off this Monday too, which is not unfortunate. I would not be taking off if I, you know, thought it was unfortunate, but I'm actually taking off of work this Monday also. And hopefully I'm not like jinxing myself by saying this, but um, on Monday, I am actually auditioning to perform the national anthem at a Milwaukee Bucks game. And I'm very like nervous because I know there are going to be so many good people auditioning and also this diamond's like not staying. That's weird. Um, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of good people auditioning. And if you guys don't know, I performed the national anthem. I performed it at a lot of events. In college, I performed um, volleyball games, football games, basketball games. By the time it was my senior year, I did like track and field events. Um, I've, I've done it all I've done at my graduation, which I feel like I've explained the story before, but it kind of makes me bitter because I, I graduated during 2020, like during the midst of the pandemic, it was like May of 2020. So right, like nothing was happening at all. Everything was virtual. Um, and I performed my national, the national anthem for that graduation. Um, honestly, if you were, if you just, um, YouTube, UW Oshkosh graduation, like 2020, like the video, like you can see it in there, um, which is kind of fun. Like it's out there. Um, but if it was an in-person event, if COVID had not happened, I would have performed it like in person and that would have really been an experience. I'm not saying I'm not grateful that it happened regardless, um, because I did get to perform it regardless, but like how cool would it have been to have done it in, like in front of everybody on like actual stage where I was graduating? It's fine, 2020 was a shit show regardless, it's whatever. Um, but all that to say, I've performed the national anthem a lot and I performed the national anthem the last two years. Cause see, I was at the very end of the season two years ago and actually more towards the beginning of the season last year for the Milwaukee Wave, which I should really reach back out to them and see if I can do it again this year. Um, so I have done it quite a few times, uh, but auditions for doing it for the bucks is on monday and i'm definitely a little bit nervous um i know there's going to be a lot of good people that are auditioning and 
Not that I don't have any confidence in myself, because obviously I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think I had a chance, if you know what I mean. Um, but I'm definitely just kind of like, okay, I gotta learn, or not learn, I gotta be prepared for like any potential disappointment that'll come with that, you know, because it's definitely possible that I won't get it. Um, I'll obviously keep you guys posted and I'm hoping it goes well and I'm hoping I do get it, obviously. But I don't know, I feel like a lot of people might be auditioning and... I'll keep you guys posted. I'll keep you guys posted. But um, that is why I took off work Monday. I probably could have taken just like a half day and then worked in the afternoon. Um, but honestly, who wants to do that when you can just take the full day off? <laughs> and um, my company actually gives two like paid personal holidays off and normal PTO carries over these personal holidays don't carry over and they expire at the end of December. And I had not used one yet. And my plan was to actually use at least one in the first half of the year and I never did. So I'm probably, so I definitely wanted to use one. And so I figured I'd just take a full day. Um, and then I'm probably gonna use the second one like sometime around Christmas time. Sorry guys, I don't know if that was a clear cutoff or whatever, but um, anyways, all that to say that I will be auditioning on Monday for the anthem so i will obviously keep you guys posted on how it goes i hope it goes well but at the end of the day you never really know what's gonna happen so i will definitely keep you guys posted i feel like this entire video is gonna be me, be me single placing these blacks um but what else is new um, I don't know. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen if you're Taylor Swift fans, but Taylor Swift is coming out with the Eras Tour movie. That's coming out here next month, and I already got tickets to go see it with my friend. Very excited. We're going opening weekend. We're going the Saturday. Um, so that'll be really, really fun, and I'm excited because I've talked about this before that I really wanted to go see her in concert, but I tried for Indianapolis tickets and that did not work out very well. Um, so I am hoping this movie is is good. I'm sure it will be. Last night I actually hung out with the same friend that I'm going to see the movie with and we decided to watch the Rep Tour on Netflix, which neither of us have seen. And it was super good, it was phenomenal. So um, I'm definitely expecting the Eras Tour movie to be honestly probably better. Um, my friend actually went to the Eras tour and I did not. I'm really sad still. I'm just sad it didn't work out. Like it is what it is really, but I just imagine that it's gonna be so hard in the future to get tickets, you know? Like if it's hard now, imagine how much harder it's gonna be in like a year. Okay, maybe not a year because I don't think she'll do a tour in a year, Um, like a new tour. But like, I don't know, in like five years, let's say she does another tour, it's gonna be so hard to get tickets. So, I don't know. Hopefully, at some point, to go see Taylor Swift would be amazing, like, in person. Um, and also, another thing is that, like, she does not perform in Milwaukee. She, we just don't have a big enough, like, venue to do that in Milwaukee. I definitely think we could do it at Lambeau Field, which is where the Green Bay Packers play, our football team. But also... I kind of don't think they allow concerts there or something weird, which is really disappointing. Um, I don't know. I think for some reason that's a thing. And then like our basketball, I was talking about this with my friend yesterday, our basketball stadium, whatever, only holds 17,000 people, which seems like a lot, but for Taylor Swift concert standards, that's not a lot. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I'm just hoping eventually I'll get to go. I don't know if that'll happen, but... Anyways, what else has been going on with me? I'm just trying to think. Today's Saturday. What did I do today? I didn't do a whole lot today, but um, tonight with my parents, I actually went out to Chili's for dinner um, and I got a really good burger. I did like the three for me where you get like a drink and then an appetizer thing or like more like a side salad or a soup um, and a meal. And I got the burger. I got a burger, it was really good. I only ate like half of it. Um, I wasn't like that hungry, we went really early. Um, so I am sure I will be eating the burger later tonight um, as a snack because that's just who I am. But it was really good. 
very delicious. Oh my gosh, you guys. Also, Diamond Art Club has been coming out with the cutest, cutest releases the last two weeks. You guys, actually, you know what? I'm just going to show you on my phone what I have purchased. <laughs> Over the last two weeks, I bought four new releases, okay? Listen, it is what it is. So this is the one I bought from this week. Um, this is Rainy Day. This is by, ooh, that's really glary. Um, there we go. This is by Hannah Lynn. It's super cute. So I got that one. I got, I'm just going through my gems flow. Ooh, okay, yeah. I got this one. It's called Underwater Train. It's by Mrs. Butter D. Oh no, we're back with the glare. We're back with the glare. But it's so cute. She's like looking out into a fish tank. Really cute. And then I have all of Mrs. Butter D's. Um, I did Artist Room um, a, couple, a month ago, about a month ago. It's hanging now. Um, let's see. I got this really cute one. It's called Wilhelminia's Nook. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Every time I stutter over it. But it's so cute. You guys, look at the corgi. The glare again. The glare again. Look at the corgi. I love it. I love her. I also have the love potion by her. It's just so cute. And then we have Windows of the Soul, um, which is also really, really fun. It's by the same artist. Oh my gosh, if this will focus. Um, let me actually do this. This should do the trick. There we go. This is by the same artist as uh, Cosmic Trip which is amazing also. So I have some really good new releases. Um, a few of them came today, and, or actually yesterday, and um, one actually technically two or I ordered today, but one of them is not a new release. But anyways, Diamond Art Club is killing it with their new releases and it's making my wallet cry, but that's okay. Um, I, you know, I've talked about this before, but I feel like I have just genuinely been enjoying diamond painting as a hobby and I think I just need to come to terms with it. Like I, you know, I definitely like obviously still really like coloring, but whenever I decide like what hobby I want to work on, it, it usually just comes down to diamond painting, right? Um, and that's okay. And it's also totally okay if that's kind of the shift my channel takes. Um, I want to keep doing coloring content. I love filming like the Disney flip through videos for you guys um, and things like that. But like I've just diamond painting has just really turned into my number one hobby for now. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I think you should do what makes you happy. And the people that want to watch me will watch me regardless of what I do, I feel like. Or, you know, obviously they can pick and choose what they decide to watch me do. Um, so, I don't know. I'm feeling conflicted about it a little bit. And I've talked about this before. I've had this conversation with you guys, I feel like, so many times. Um, but I don't know what it is about this hobby in particular that really, it just, it feels so satisfying. It's super relaxing and... I don't know. I really, I can't tell you why it feels the way it does to me, but I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate. I do know a lot of people in the coloring community also do other hobbies and different crafts. And obviously like, you know, for some people coloring is their only hobby and things like that. But yeah, I've been enjoying both and I love that I'm able to incorporate both on my channel. I just don't see 2023 being a good coloring year, if I'm being honest, right? And we're already over halfway through the year, obviously. We're in September. We're practically three quarters of the way through the year. And just by the trend from the year so far, I really just don't see it getting much better. I've colored two pages in September so far, and what are we on? Like, the ninth? I think today's the ninth, yeah. So, like, that's really not that great. But, you know, again, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, if I've been enjoying diamond painting, then that's what I'm going to work on. I'm not going to feel guilty about it. And yeah, okay, that's my spiel on that. <laughs> I'll shut up about it because, again, I know I've talked your guys' ears off so many times about it. But anyways, you guys, this pop is everything. Oh, it's so good. It's such a good pop. Also, this entire video is going to be, be me single placing this black. <gasps> Oh my goodness, but 
yeah so i'm excited about those new releases yeah so i got a few of them in the mail already and then the other one should be coming i don't know when it's actually going to show up because i literally just got it today so like ordered it today but i'm just trying to think what else i wanted to talk with you guys about um hmm what else has been going on not a whole lot really um like i said last week was kind of a crazy week just mental health wise um otherwise what's happening for me in the upcoming week besides monday and auditioning i have a normal like work week aside from that um don't have any plans really yeah i feel like my life is just kind of boring right now. Um, you know, it's spooky season, you guys. And, well, for some people, it's spooky season. Like, September for me is really the beginning of spooky season. But um, I feel like I haven't seen, or not I haven't seen, I haven't really been feeling the spooky season vibes. I don't know if it's because it's been really hot out here. Granted, the last day or two has been pretty nice and cool, but, like, I'm just like not feeling the spooky season vibes as much as I normally do and I'm usually so excited to like pull out fall coloring books, fall um, Halloween coloring books and things like that and I've bought quite a few new Halloween and fall coloring books for the season but you guys I just haven't pulled them out. Um, so I don't know is anyone else feeling in that weird slump too with the season change? I don't know what it is. I, I'm just I don't know. I'm usually very excited and I'm not as excited. And the weird thing is also, sorry, going back to the whole coloring hobby thing. I know I said I was done. I bought 50 space themed miniatures by Camelia Angelkova probably a month ago now. And you guys, I haven't even touched the book yet, which is crazy for me because normally I color in Camelia's miniature books like right away, but I just haven't been feeling inspired. And that's okay. I love the images and I'm gonna color in it eventually, but I haven't colored any yet. I haven't touched it. So, I don't know, you guys. Has anyone else been feeling this way? Let me know. I would I would love to have someone who can relate to this right now. But um, I feel like this video has been such a Debbie Downer. I did not mean it for, for it to be that way. But that's just kind of how everything's been going lately. Um, another reason why I decided to just fully single place this piece is because I think... I started the first like two sections with like you know the multi-placing and the normal single plate not normal single placing but the single placing um and you know I found that with the diamond art club basically diamond art club oh, probably over the last year has tightened the drill field and like there are barely any gaps um unlike their older pieces or even something like dreamer designs has some gapping in their pieces um but the thing about the gapping was that it didn't really bother me because i was able to multi-place and it would could be a little bit messy and it would be okay this was really hard to do that with um with it being such a tight grid it was actually really challenging to multi-place and keep it kind of lined up so I just feel that single placing this is just so much easier and honestly it has not been that much more time consuming if I'm being honest. I've still gotten through a lot of this diamond painting really fast. Um, when did I start this piece? I know I started it um, before, before September because I had maybe intended, I'm gonna have to pour more black in, I had maybe intended to work on this piece for drills and chills but then I had like a week in between um august and september and for drills and chills you had to have a new start so i just decided not to participate this year because i didn't want to just like not have a diamond painting for a week um so i just decided to start on this piece um and where was i even going with that statement <laughs> there definitely was somewhere i wanted to go with that but i don't know what I was gonna say but um, I wanted to do for drills and chills and didn't because I'm not doing drills and chills um if you guys don't know what that is that's like a diamond painting event um that's hosted by a couple of diamond painting youtubers um and maybe in the future I'll do an event but like I don't know events can be stressful um because sometimes they require like new starts and actual finishes 
I think I was talking, I was working through this piece pretty fast. I think that's where I was going with that statement. Um, but yeah, and then they like give away prizes and things like that. So it's a fun time, but um, not, not worth the stress to me personally um, of finishing a piece and starting it within a time frame. And it's just, this event did not work itself out for me this time. And that's okay. Um, so yeah, anyways, I've been working through this piece still like really fast considering, um, considering that I'm single placing it. So I don't know. And I, I just genuinely been enjoying it. I'm just listening usually to a YouTube video, a podcast, a good old audio book, whatever music. I mean, I'm just listening to something and diamond painting away. So Anyways, I am just trying to figure out if there's anything else I wanted to tell you guys. Um, I'm not sure that there is actually anything else I wanted to tell you guys. I'm just trying to think. Um, so yeah, I just feel like I'm going back to the YouTube thing um, and like coloring. I feel like for now, I feel like a lot of my videos will be like either like flip throughs um, because I have some Disney books that are coming and um, well, I guess just like one Disney book. Um, but and I'll probably just do like more whipping chats and maybe, f you know, hauls and finished pages or whatever, assuming I get enough finished pages done. Oh boy, it's just like it's a time when you're not coloring, so. Anyways, this video felt really like dramatic for no reason. And I apologize if it came off that way. Um, definitely did not intend for it to come off like dramatic. Um, just kind of what I'm going through right now. And I'm sure there's someone out there that can relate. And honestly, at the end of the day, you just have to do what makes you happy. And don't worry about anyone else because your own happiness is your own. And, you know, you can't. You can't be doing something to make someone else happy. You know, you got to do it to make yourself happy. So if you are enjoying whatever craft you're working on and you're thinking you're neglecting another one, you're not really neglecting it because you're just doing something else that's making you happy at the moment. And that is a-okay. That was really lengthy. And I said I was not going to go back to it. Um, but I think, actually, I might end off this video here. This has been just full of me ugh, single placing black. But you know what? That's okay. I'm sure you guys use this more as like a podcast type thing anyways while you guys are working on whatever you're working on. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe down below if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys!